Kim, what's yours? I am Kim. How did you get out of the Where did it ever occur to you that we might not live on a globe? So it was, uh, it started from Joe Rogan, actually. I used to watch, you know, all of his podcasts. He's really changed recently, so I don't really watch anymore. But it just kept leading into more and more did and more. Did you start with moon stuff, the fake moon stuff? Yes, yes, I did. Yeah, because yeah. that's where we sort of have to start. It's like, okay, if we can't talk about the moon, we can't talk about the Earth. Yeah. Because that's already, like, written history. Yep. And we're trying to get out of history and into today. Like, what yeah. do you see out in the world? You live here, so you're lucky you can see an ocean. Yeah. A lot of people can't see that sort of long, flat distance. Yeah. And they can't imagine it. You know, we have a... a Pleasure being here. Yeah. Well, we're actually visiting. We're from Arizona, oh. but we like to come here as often as possible. Uh -huh. And yes. So we've looked into all of that. You know, there's a meetup group there, right? No, I don't. Yes, know. there's an, absolutely, and I know two people that are there. Really? Yeah. There's a, an Arizona. Um, I'm not sure what city they're in. I'll have to look into that. Yeah, it's absolutely. It's called meetup.com. Okay. And uh, there's both uh, a guy who does experiments named Mr. Thrive and Survive that lives there. Oh, His name's wow. Rich. And I knew two other people, Caroline, Caroline. lives there, and mm -hmm. Orange lives there. And uh, we do experiments out in the Salt Sea where we're taking lasers and we can see way further than you're supposed to. That's what got me. That's what got me like proving the actual facts, proving that, hey, look, we can do this, we can do that. This shows mm -hmm. this. So zooming out farther and farther and seeing things that you shouldn't be able to see past the curvature, if the curvature was there. Yeah, yeah. That's just your eyes. Like you know, being like able to see across to Lake Michigan all the way it's like with yeah. the telephoto lens. So hotel not supposed walk. to be able to do that. Wow, this is amazing. It's, it's so great to see you guys out here. He's a listener. Everybody should know we were all lied to. We all believed the bullshit for so long. When I started researching it, I tried to prove that I lived on a spinning ball in a vacuum, and you can't. You know, that's how a lot of people get started. We, we learn about the scientific here. method, but they don't teach us to actually yeah. use it on the theories that they feed us. Yes. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. I've lived into this for a couple of years now. Just trying to prove that we're on the sphere and we can't find it. I actually heard about Flat Earth three different times before I... First time I blew it off, second time blew it off, third time it's like, okay, this happened to me before. Do your research and prove to yourself you live on a spinning ball in a vacuum. And then I said, I live on a spinning ball in a vacuum. That sounds fucking stupid. <laughs> Do you believe you live? Yeah, I believe that. Really? And no one I, wants to and hear And I say, that's all, I don't say I'm a flat earther. I just say, I don't believe I live on a spinning ball in a vacuum anymore. Yeah. I don't know what Earth is, but based on my research, it ain't a ball. And it ain't spinning. And if it were in a vacuum, I think I'd be sucked off of it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what really got me is um, Picard, if I'm not mm -hmm. mistaken. Yeah, yeah, the very first guy. Yes. And he said that it was it had the edges that went up on yeah. the side. And the the first one to go up and see for himself. Yes, I There's remember no that. The curvature. It's really true. And uh, just some things like this. It's Water has to be in a container. Do you still have any questions? And do people ask you have you lost any friends yet? Uh, your family? The family. So many friends, family hates us. Yeah, yeah, we're weirdos. We yeah. don't get invited anywhere anymore and we love it. <laughs> My family doesn't even, they, they're afraid to talk to me on any subject. They won't even say hello. because. Oh, I know, because I always say, don't get me started. <laughs> you even know where hello came from? <laughs> well, I actually say heaven high now instead of hello. Oh, I like that. What do you say? Heaven high. That's funny. Because why are we accentuating the fact that hell is low? It's like, and we're saying hi. So, yeah. Heaven high, not hello. Yeah. You must have gotten excited when you saw this. I huh? did. I did. That was really Have crazy. you ever seen a model like that before? I have. Have you seen that? We have one where we searched again in the movie and we've seen different kinds, but. It gives us like, like, like a, something to get excited about. Just put it down there. Some perspective. Yeah. yeah. This is really cool. It was great to meet you guys. Which name? I am Kim. Yeah, I'm Dan. Dan. Yeah. What's your name? Kim. Kim. 
Pleasure to meet you. This is my family. This is my husband, Mike. <laughs> are you just tolerant? Are you tolerant of everyone? No. Yeah. I dig the question. I dig the question. I have a question. We both just need to look. I'm just kind of Allie. I'm her daughter. Oh, Allie. My yeah. name's Attilio. This is question. my boyfriend, Alex. Yeah! <laughs> I'm a hugger. Keep it flat, huh? Keep it flat. Now don't go like this. Don't go. They're going around like this. This is to me is a globe sign. You gotta go like this. This is where it's at. Oh, I just have to say one thing before we go. So there was a picture of a guy that said, um, "Take that flat earther." I think that's in here. Yeah. So it's like with the fish eye man showing the So it's like one guy takes the one guy and then you have. Thank you so much. Have a great day.